Yo guys, just got this package from Shopee. So I'm gonna leave the link down below. So what exactly will you get from this seller? Selling around 79 ringgit, I got it for 84 after the shipment package. Only took two days, really fast. It's from all the way from Penang to Kuala Lumpur. Really, really, really fast. I just saw the statement is from morning 6 a.m. until the next day, how the shipment goes about, the consignment and so on. But all in all, I give it a five of a five of a star. If this thing passes in terms of what I'm actually expecting to get. Hopefully there's no damage in the box because hear that? That's what I'm scared of, but I think that's just the screw. Let's open this. You've repeated a receipt. Comparison in terms of size, this is a Xiaomi bag. It's that small guys. It's really really small, to be honest. But it is L-shaped. I'm gonna use my nail just to open up this package. The package this is also is very good in condition. There's no bumps or anything. For uh, just a plastic without foaming, without the wrap, it's pretty good of a condition to be honest. Let's go open it. Okay. Got a warning. That's the uh, pressure thing. Ah, this is I always wanted to see this. It's either grommet mount or the clamp mount. Or they give both. That's my question for the to the seller, but they don't give me a straight answer. It's a two in one, um, hopefully, because some people would like to use a grommet, some people like to use a clamp. And I think the clamp is always more versatile compared to a grommet. So you can see this is the noise that it's making. Some screws fell off inside there. It's already open. Some tear. Okay, this is the bad boy it's really nice in packaging first feeling plastic and metal at the same time and this ugly logo when take it out okay, everything is out good to go wow 84 ringgit guys this postage or should I say 79 ringgit don't get cheated by buying the 189 and 150 I'm gonna leave down below and help you guys a lot um, Plus, there's a lot of good reviews from this guy. And uh, props to the Penang shop. I'm gonna leave out the link below. 5 over 5 star. Thank God they actually give me this clamp. The clamp is for sure that you guys will be getting this 100%. So, I'm just gonna pop it in right over there. Alright, good guys. It's already situated at the first and second. So, it's easier for me to install. I'm gonna release this because my table is the IKEA. As you can see, the first thing you see is this thing. So I'm gonna take it out and then you will see what would happen. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the pressure. All right, cool. It's plastic, of course, the casing for the wiring. You can take it out slowly, not too harsh because you have to take out the screw first, if I'm not mistaken. Not really a screw. I think you can just take it out just like that. Is it possible? Nope. It's pretty hard, it's pretty tight. So you can see the grommet screw went all the way in there. Is it this one? I don't know, I'm gonna take out everything. So I think this is a grommet type. You can uh, put it down below, but I'm not gonna use that. Three and three, boom, done. You got the Allen key, just like that. Turning to the right is more resistant. Or to the left. To the left is less resistant. And I'm gonna make it less resistant towards the left. Let me show you guys. There is a plus sign. There is a minus sign. So I'm gonna turn to the right to the minus sign. So this is instructions of. Alright, so let's see. If you're using the uh, installation method, is this the clamp? It don't say anything about that. No. But this one. Nope. This one is for grommet. So this is for grommet. Grommet installation. Three screws and that long screw over there. Okay. No, we're not going to use that. This is the grommet, looks like. No, we're not going to use that. We're going to use this one. So we're just gonna put it in right there and done. This is the 
angles. You can do 360 on the head, at the neck, at the base at 220 only. 35 degrees towards up. 35 up, 30, negative 50 degrees below, going down. And you can you can spin the thing 180 degrees. Alright. Pretty cool, man. Can't wait. So, proper usage, directions. Yeah, you cannot extend the arm towards out like that. You have to be within the table compounds. You cannot be extending outward the table. You should be inside the table. Yeah, this is the 180 degrees. What else? Power display installation. So, as you can see, you have to take out the screw. And then you have to take out the plastic cap. There's only one screw and then pinch it. And you can take it out. Alright. I would rather just explore it myself. Let's do this. Hey guys, as you can see, this is my LG WK600 29 inch monitor. Which is really, really good for budget people like me. I don't have that much money to actually buy an expensive 1000 ringgit monitor. I can only afford this kind of monitors. This is my first time experience on an ultra wide. I'll be doing a review later on for this one if you guys want. So let's install this. This guy. Okay, let's do this. That one, guys. See that? This is my fingers. Because I'm going to secure it with the Allen key. No need a screw of a screwdriver for. Just two. So get the smaller one. Just like so. Now, you, now it fits. See, guys? <sighs> Done. Ah, so hard to record everything. How are you going to see me doing that? You know how the clamp works. Just like any other clamp. And clamp it right over there. Okay, guys. Does it mount first? You want to see? No! Guys, this is a typical IKEA table, the white one. Even if you take out the rubber one, it can. I have to squeeze in, like literally squeeze in. Just flat that out. Come on, baby. Yeah! It does fit! Okay. Going down. Secure in place. See that? That is one freaking arm, man. It's like a... Terminator. Right over here, it looks nice. Okay. Can I change the side already? Alright, cool. So the motor is way over there. So it's facing over there. Alright, place it over here. And, yep. Screw it, screw it there. Okay, you guys get the picture? So, this thing, I take it out. That is a suction over there. Ooh, as this goes down like this, it'll be looking like that. So it looks good. I'm actually pushing it really hard right now towards the right. Yeah, Looks good. If, it's, if this arm were to be from here, I don't have any space for it because this thing is really huge and thick. It would actually disrupt everything. So right over here is really really good. So the logo at least is being blocked by the monitor, but this one is ugly. I'll take it out later. Let's install the vest amount of the monitor. Okay guys, since you guys saw my monitor, I'm gonna just show you guys what does it have. Right. So this monitor consists of the port. H2, HDMI, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, uh, audio jack, this this thing WK600 has a built-in speaker, WK500 doesn't have, so if you guys want a monitor that has a speaker a bit, this is, they have that, and they have the power output right at the bottom, and as you can see, they use a joystick mechanism to, to move around the menu, which is, I really love, I think all monitors should have that kind of feature, the back panel is white, if WK600, WK500 is all black. So I'm gonna open this up first. This monitor been held up by a two screws, which taken off easily. 
just like so. The monitor stand is very short, that's why I purchased the arm. Let's see, this is the best amount, right? The, the 100. This is 75, this is 100. So they have 75, 75, or 100. What is that? I have to take out the screw first, of course. Then, oh, you place the screw first, then you slide inside. Then you lock in at the bottom part. Oh, like that ah. Oh, that's why this thing, you put the screw first on the monitor. And then you slide that in and then you locked it in place with these two other screws. Oh, that's simple lah. Thank God for this manual. So, of course, we're gonna use these screws. The square ones. Oh, there's a few sizes. This one is thicker than this one. So, this one is thinner. So, I'm gonna get the thin ones out. Whoa, guys, it's floating. You can see that. It's so sexy. Whoa, sexy though. But the thing is, okay. Oh, I can adjust. Hola, ma. Okay. Oh, get some a little bit of resistance. Woo! Better. Guys, this thing is made from aluminium or metal. This is a USB if you're getting this. This is plastic. This is plastic. This is metal. Metal. Plastic. That is so beautiful. I'm gonna clean up the table. And this is a 100% good build. Good quality. I don't mind about the plastic and a little bit of metal. It's gonna be an awesome setup guys. Yo guys, what's up? So this is the view, what it looks like having an ultra wide monitor. I really recommend this monitor to you guys who really want to be the first time to venture but don't want to spend that much. The WK600 by LG, 29 inch with a vest mount. This particular stand, the NB stand, it doesn't support above 27. As you can see, a 29 inch with the new design and modern lightweight it's possible to actually mount a 29 inch ultra wide just fyi so as you can see my setup here is already clean um that's my plant over there my fake plant my itx case is floating kind of look of a monitor ips display any angle looks good <laughs> uh you can see my ipad pro down there looking fabulous this is a wired keyboard i got this for 23 ringgit you guys can get this at giant it's really cheap now it just fit in nicely and this mouse is only like 16 ringgit i've been using a lot of logitech mouse so i'm just gonna try this out just for fun it's just for the look and um behind me here i have the uh, orico usb 3.0 connected behind my ITX which is USB in red color so it'll be faster in transferring stuff and right over here is the stand and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like behind yeah so it's like that it's like really extending towards the center so from the left towards the center but it looks good because it doesn't look like too much of an extent that will break off that way but it looks steady I'm gonna push it down all right <laughs> I didn't push it down. I just tapped it now I'm gonna push it down see it's pretty steady people say this um, stand is shaky it's shaky if you move it as usual like any other monitor stand but expensive monitor stand, of course, it wouldn't shake that much. It does the job, right? So why what you can only spend for 17 ringgit, guys? It doesn't matter. So it's good. So it looks really clean. Looks good, right? Wow, sexy. Very sexy. This side. Whoa. 
Okay, guys, I already moved out all my stuff in the middle because I'm gonna place this monitor downwards. Let's do it. Okay, move it way front. But since it's from the left side, it's actually it's not centered to the table. So now, right now, the monitor suddenly tilted towards the left. So you can adjust it like that. You can adjust to your liking. Basically, you have to be a bit detailed to the minute details of the tilting yeah so you can do it this way oh wash up with the, with the cables and i'm gonna go towards towards all the way yeah it's gonna tilt to the left now you have to adjust yourself now i'm gonna adjust it this way Yeah. Right now, uh, one problem with this is that my HDMI cable is really really short So I have to take this out for a while Place it downwards And uh, I'm gonna put it down like this So it's possible to like really like flat like that And it still can work that way <laughs> And what else? You can do this way. Right? And going down. Okay, again. Ah. Yep. Whoa. Woo. <laughs> uh, you can do that way. I don't know whether you can actually do it. But look, this looks good, man. It's like I'm like standing. I just want to see if it's touching it would be cool but it's not but it's cool seriously it's cool mm, what else okay i'm gonna slowly put it this way wow it is possible look at that i can even do that as well whatever you want okay Alright, right, that's about it. I had so much fun with this stand. I totally recommend you guys buying this stand. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please, please support my channel by subscribing, leave a like, and just comment down below. Thank you so much for your time. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.